I've been very lucky to be part of this training for about the past uh, seven years. Um, I've had a, an amazing life and still do. And prior to the training, I had an amazing life, but it was more like I was living like, like life like this. And life's nice behind sunglasses, don't get me wrong. It's cool, but the edges aren't so bright and the colours aren't so bright and people can't see my eyes. So, uh, yeah, it's been amazing to be part of this, uh, this training and learn to just, uh, yeah, learn to relearn to live with my sunglasses off, basically. Um, I had a very fortunate meeting. I met someone at a, a festival that I was running a roller disco at. Uh, I, I do many weird and beautiful, wonderful, creative things, and, and still do. And uh, I had the great fortune to be invited to the, uh, to the 12 Empowerments the first time it was done in Bristol. We did it in like basically like a little shed uh, with about three other people, uh, very different to the amazing infrastructure that you see uh, here. And um, yeah, and after I did that, I, uh, I'd always wanted to come to India, and I came to India. But when I met the training, I'd had some significant things happen to me where I couldn't help but really feel a victim. This was my main uh, data stream. It was mainly antidotes and victimhood that were my main things when I met the training. And I'd, I'd, I'd had a, uh, like most of you, I'm an undercover superhero. And uh, I, I saw this uh, horrible um, road rage thing happening on the street. And, uh, and an old man was getting beaten up by, uh, by an angry motorist. And all these big guys were watching. And I just decided I was just compelled to get involved and to try and stop this. And, uh, Despite doing years of martial arts training, I'm a lover, not a fighter, and I got I got promptly knocked out and uh, had a yeah woke up on the floor and I'd had a, a very serious injury where my first, second, and third lumbar vertebrae got badly damaged and uh, so I did the a lot of the training like down here <laughs> and I'm very glad to be able to sit in a plastic chair six years later. You can't believe how glad I am to sit in one of these plastic chairs, but. Um, so yeah, and uh, a lot of the training was, I was in physical pain a lot, and I'd also split up with someone that I was very much in love with at the time, and uh, that also brought up a lot of feeling like a victim, really. So, um, but yeah, it's amazing to see that now, six years later, my back's 100% fine. Uh, I do all the stuff that the doctors and the, uh, and the hospital said I wouldn't. Um, I've been a semi-professional BMX bike rider for 20 years, and. Uh, I still do that now and uh, I can do all these things that every time I went to see the doctor and he said, hey man, you're not going to be able to do this because of this, because of this. And I tried many things to overcome it, but um, the one thing that I know in my experience, not because someone told me, that, uh, that helped uh, yeah, restore everything back to its powerful natural state was being right here, just showing up, nothing else. And that's, that was Adrian's advice. He was just like, Craig, you've just got to show up. And, uh, I followed that to the letter every seven years, and uh, for the last seven years, so it's been a very powerful, uh, very powerful journey. And uh, and I'd also just like to thank you all very much for being here because this is the uh, the most powerful thing and beneficial thing I see that you can do for me and that we can do for planet Earth on the outside. Yeah, it's just a bunch of people sitting on plastic chairs, but this is, uh, in my direct experience, the most powerful place right now on this beautiful spinning green and blue planet that we call Earth. Now, the four mainstays are an amazing design uh, and, in my direct experience, epic. The short moments is great. That's kind of running on autopilot now. That was the system upgrade. Goodbye, Windows 98. Hello. I don't know. It's not even mountain lion. It's like beyond that. It's like exalted golden lion of... Yeah, you can make up your own operating system, but I'm running on that. And it constantly get, gets updated, and it constantly means that I'm having to reset my system to get the upgrades, and it can look like many things, the, the system reset. Maybe I'm falling asleep in a training. Maybe I'm just freaking out because the sunglasses are off, and I can see all the colors and all the edges and stuff, and it feels that um, it's overwhelming And because I'm now feeling it and seeing it all fully. But uh, with the short moments, I know that it, it, it's okay, it's fine. And, yeah, they're on. They're pretty much on autopilot. But also, I've been in some. Uh, I've had the the exalted benefit of being in some beautiful, weird, and wonderful situations over the past years, traveling the, the planet. And it's clear to see that short moments are the most powerful thing we can bring into our everyday existence for our benefit. Um, and also, the trainer journey has been amazing for me because I had enormous resistance to uh, to my beloved trainer, and uh, I didn't want to share all my stuff with 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 him. I thought I was meant to have an intimate partner that I was meant to do that with, meant to puke all my stuff on them or to my family, and that was how I was meant to go about with life. But it's just amazing to have someone that in any moment during the day I can just, uh, yeah, share what's going on 
with me and he just reflects back just the perfection that we are. The trainings have been amazing. I regularly uh, keep up with them. I'm very lucky to live in Bristol where we have like the most power born community of people I've ever seen operate in one city on planet Earth. You should, I would love to invite you all to, to come. I've got a lovely flat there that I share with my brother if you want to come visit. Um, and I also just quickly share that the last year I've had an amazing opportunity to travel the world with um, some musicians that are also deeply uh, living a mainstays lifestyle. And uh, yeah, it's been really powerful, you know, to actually take this training and I mean, every moment's a training setting for me now, but to take that vibe and to, and to travel around the world and to share it with other people and they might, the music is amazing, I have to say, but the, what we're transmitting, what we're broadcasting is far more than, uh, than just the sounds that you hear. It's, uh, it's, it, it's something very powerful that I'm proud to be an, uh, an envoy of. And for sure, like us living together, like stuff comes up and stuff comes up bigger. You can see how bands go crazy and they become alcoholics and fight all the time. But I'm proud to say that none of that's going on. We might feel like it sometimes, but it doesn't happen. So, yeah, it's a real honor to like work with uh, with an amazing group of people and just to see that my creativity knows no bounds like today I was riding my scooter here just nice and slow and it felt like every turn I was making was like this beautiful calligraphy brush of like watercolors across a canvas and I just see now that I used to define myself by the poems that I was doing or the lyrics I was writing but now I just see that yeah thanks to being exposed to uh, the beautiful power that we all are like each second of my life is the that the perfect painting I always wanted to create. So yeah, I'd like to uh, thank you all for being the colors on, the, on my canvas. Uh.